The Bureau of the Second Committee, uh, early on in the work of the committee, may well determine that to advance the work of the committee, they will need to identify delegates to assist the Bureau with specific draft resolutions that need to be moved forwards. These individuals are generally referred to as facilitators because they are indeed there to help out, facilitate, um, help identify ways in which a given basic base draft proposal that every member state would have before it for consideration would be looked at very carefully, literally rolling up their sleeves in what we call at the United Nations informal, informal consultations, which do not require the presence of a secretary. They would simply require the presence, if necessary, of representatives of the department or office that generates that text. If it's a text, for example, on climate change, if it's a text on financing for development, if it's a text on um, uh, climate change issues, the department concerned would inform the secretary as to who a focal point person is available to the facilitator and to therefore all member states to join them when they sit down and look at very carefully, paragraph by paragraph, the content of a draft proposal that a member state or a group of member states has put forward in the form of what we call a limited document, which is therefore issued as an L document, it could be L2, L3, L15, L19. That so-called L document on that particular subject matter will be uh, carefully reviewed and analyzed by, meet, uh, by a facilitator, but not alone. He or she will convene meetings of all the member states to look at that particular text, to attempt to find agreement and to chisel a text that will be one that the committee as a whole, in a formal meeting of the committee, not in an informal, informal, but in a formal meeting of the committee, could then be ready to adopt when we get to, towards the end of the session of that body. In order to do that, the Bureau, elected by the General Assembly, early on will divide amongst itself, the Bureau, as a reminder, is comprised of five delegates, each representing a specific regional group of the United Nations, uh, and therefore one would be the chairperson of that committee, three would be vice chairs of the committee, and in accordance with the rules and regulations of the General Assembly, one of them will be rapporteur. Amongst the five of them, they divide the various agenda items that are before the second committee and parcel them out in portfolios. It would be physically and intellectually impossible for just one person to handle all of that. So they divide all this work, which means that each of the Bureau members is in turn responsible to identify a delegate or generally several delegates, each one of whom would shepherd a specific draft resolution on that given agenda item or agenda sub-item. And again, as just mentioned, then conduct informal and formal negotiations that would be going on while the committee is in session. Of course, not in parallel to formal meetings, but while the committee is in session. So that interspersed with the formal meetings, this type of activity would be, would be going forward.